let's get into the near arm bar from knee ride, okay? So a bunch of different ways we got to the arm, we got to knee ride, right? So one could be I'm in side control right here. I put my hand under his collar, make a fist, come back, pop his hip right here, hand on the hip, and then I just pop up the knee ride, okay? When I do my knee ride, my knee goes across his belly, I'm being really nice, my knee's across his, his belt line. If I kind of want to be mean, I put it on his sternum. If I really don't like him, put it in his throat. Okay, but right now we're just down the belt line. Now two, the other thing is, is some people say don't ever put your foot on the floor. I don't personally do that. I like the ball of my foot on the floor. I didn't say there's weight on it, but my foot is always hooked on his hip, okay? Because I don't like to be super high up because now he can push my foot between his legs. See right there, boom, and now he's got the hook on me. So I prefer to keep my, my kind of the ball of my foot, my uh, touching on the floor, and I use this leg to drive in. If he bumps back into me and I don't like it, hey man, I can just run, okay? So it helps me maintain the position. Other way too to get to uh, knee ride could be just like from a basic bullfighter pass. Bang, right to here. Now what's really common is when I put my knee on his belly, this hurts, it's uncomfortable, okay? And a lot of times what happens is the hands go right to there. And they could go there or two, one hand will go here, that one will go to there. So this hand right here will either float here or there, it doesn't matter to me. So we'll start from this position. What's gonna happen is I'm just gonna kind of grab the sleeve like this. I'm gonna rip it, okay? Now in the beginning, uh, coordination is gonna be an issue. So this is how I want you to do it. I'm gonna rip it. I want you to pull them up on the side and keep that shin right in the armpit. I want you to step over, squat down the fire pole. I keep my shin in his armpit, grab the wrist. I got one leg over, one little foot is stuck underneath his back. Right to here, I grab his wrist, I put the elbow on my hip, knees are pinched and a squeeze, okay? So that's like gross motor skills. So I'm gonna pop up one more time, pop up, pop. He puts his hand right there, I grab the sleeve. I'm literally gonna stand tall, bring my hips forward, slide this shin up to his armpit, and step over his face. Boom, right to there. Squat, grab, step back. Okay, so that's very beginner. As you get better at this, you won't have to do all that extra standing. Okay, so now I'll be in. Now let's say he puts his hand here, it's fine. I can do the same grip. I'm gonna pull this, but now I'm gonna turn him onto his side, but I'm not gonna stand and I'm gonna step over. Boom, right to here. And then I stepped over, heel into the neck. I got the position. As I go to fall back, I'm gonna slide, turn this way some leg. Cause you'll see how this leg is down here. I'm gonna slide this up into his armpit. And it gets tighter. And then I'm right here, boom. Okay, so one more time, just a little bit of an angle here. So I pop up, bang, hands to here. I grab, I rip up, step over. In my transition of falling back, this knee is gonna try to touch this knee. Boom, see right there, heels tight, elbow over the hip, and I got that arm bar, which is our near arm bar, okay? So, other things that might happen, um, just stuff that's kind of like, makes things just a little harder, is, Let's say you don't have a gi to grab. Well, I can always just come in and pummel that, like to that. Or two, if he puts his hand on my hip or on my knee, I can always scoop this and overhook. If I overhook right here, right to there, I'm on the elbow, hand to the shoulder, lock it in place. Boom, that's a near arm lock, or near arm bar, really, literally. Or two, as we're here like this, I can pop that up in my armpit, step over here, boom, and I got the arm bar right to there, okay? So just a couple variations. I could also do that here. If I captured his arm like this, stepped over, boom, and I get the arm bar. Oh, it might pop, cool, doesn't matter. So those are all near arm bar um, ideas. Before you arm bar, make sure you're good at riding the knee ride. Make sure you're good at moving around. If he starts to wiggle, I'm bouncing, blah, 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 pressure. You know what I mean? I might even like try to forearm him. He pushes my arm up. Ha! Huh! Okay.
Okay, so there are plenty of ideas out there. What's important right now is just the coordination, okay?